Hi there, this is Prema. Welcome to my channel and today we are going to paint this beautiful northern lights. I wet the paper for a couple of times so that the paper could remain wet for a long time. Take more time to wet the paper. Uh, I want to just speed up the video to move to the next step. If you look closer, you can see I have masked the snowy land using the masking tape. And this is the part where we are going to paint the blue aurora. I am using cerulean blue mixed with little sap green uh, to paint this aurora. I am moving my brush gracefully. To paint this aurora while painting this aurora I leave some white space between the two blues this is the luminous part of the aurora also another one at the right side but this is a small one if suppose the blue color uh, flows into that luminous part uh, be sure to pick that color using a damp brush which is clean for the next step, I am mixing um, cerulean blue with more sap green uh, to paint the outer part of the aurora. Move your brush like you are drawing a wavy line and follow that wavy format while painting even outside that aurora. Some more blue aurora here. The point to be noted here is while painting the aurora, we should use concentrated pigment. If the pigment is uh, very diluted, then the pigment will flow in all the direction. We don't want that, so use concentrated pigment. So the next step is to paint the outer part of the aurora, that is the sky, the dark sky. First layer, for first layer, I am using ultramarine. Then over that ultramarine, I am going to use uh, indigo. So there is an even mix of color and the transition of colors from light to dark takes place evenly. I am using more and more indigo color to make the dark sky. To make the sky even more darker, I use Prussian blue mixed with black. You can also use paints gray uh, to paint the darkest part of the sky. After applying the colors, tilt your boat and remove all the excess water that is collected near the tape. This prevents the back run of the excess water and pulling the pigment from its base, which results in the formation of uh, cauliflower effect. So don't forget to follow this important step. I want the sky to be even more darker so I am adding that Prussian blue and black mix over that uh, area. If your paper sta it starts to dry, please avoid this step. 
uh, you should be very careful that uh, when the paper starts to dry if you start to add pigment in that stage it will uh, it, it won't create a even transition of color so be careful in this step after applying all the pigments and letting it to flow in all direction and removing all the excess water collected near the tape now let the paper to dry completely now the paper is completely dry i am removing that masking tape and i am wetting the snow part of the scenery I'm using indigo color to paint the shadow part on the snow. This is an A5 size painting done on Fabriano paper. If you want to buy this painting from me, you can mail to my ID which is given in the description. And to paint the pine trees, you can use paints grey, but I'm using uh, Prussian blue mixed with uh, black. I'm adding one more pine trees that is nearer to the viewer and also I'm adding shadow for this pine tree. I'm having acrylic white using that I'm painting snow uh, over the pine trees and also I'm splattering some of the whites over the dark part of the sky for the stars. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my watercolor channel. Thanks for watching till now to the end of this video. See you in another video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.